Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll take a look at how to run TerudoB inside Node.js using our Node.js engine. With TerudoB's Node.js engine for the JavaScript SDK, you can embed a fully functional TerudoB instance directly into your Node.js app, removing the need for a separate server. This approach simplifies deployment, reduces overhead, and is ideal for self-contained or lightweight applications. In this video, we'll cover how to set it up and how to integrate it with the JavaScript SDK. Let's get started. We'll start off by setting up our project inside a directory called through be Node.js demo. We'll then change into that directory and install the through to be and add through to be slash node libraries. The Node.js engine essentially plugs into the JavaScript library, which is why we need to install both. At ThruDB, we decided on a model where the Node.js SDK is an engine to the normal JavaScript SDK. This means that any libraries built on top of our JavaScript SDK can automatically run on our Node.js engine with exactly the same programming interface. Let's start with the JavaScript SDK. To use it, we need to construct this rule class, which can be imported from the ThruDB library. Now, to enable the Node.js engine, we need to import the ThruDB node engines method from the add ThruDB slash node library. We then pass it to the engines property during the construction of the Thrill class instance. Because our Node.js SDK is simply an engine to the JavaScript SDK, we can use the JavaScript SDK like we normally would. Although now with the two mem and ThrillKV protocols added to it, First, let's try to connect to an in-memory instance. Here, we will specify the mem protocol in the URL with no further address specified. Secondly, we will specify a namespace and a database for our connection right in the connect method. To try out our connection, let's take this example where we are creating a record and then selecting all records from the table. We can then display all the results by logging them to the console. Great. Now, let's test our application. We can run node index.mjs in our terminal, after which we can see the Node.js engine in action. You may notice how we get a fresh state every time that we rerun the script. This happens because we currently opted to use an in-memory instance of ThruDB. To persist our data across application restarts, let's change the connection URL from mem to ThruKV and specify a folder for ThruKV to store its files in. Now, when we restart the application, you can see that all records are persisted across restarts as our selected array keeps growing each time that we run the script. As expected, we now see a folder named sumdb inside of our project's files and folders. And that's it for this video. We've shown you how to embed ThruDB inside of a Node.js application using the Node.js engine and the JavaScript SDK. If you want to learn more about using the JavaScript SDK, We've recently released a video about that, which we'll link in, down in the video description. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe and join our Discord community to share your projects and maybe learn from others. See you in the next one.